Hello there, we're solving question number three of the 2022. Let's just give the reference there. May, June 2022. Paper 2, 1. And that's question number three. Okay. Jules is a hairdresser. He bought some new energy saving hair drying equipment, $1,900 on credit from YZH Limited. Now we have to make the journal entry in the part a and narrative is required so what we do we start with writing the date 2022 april 30 okay it's just one transaction so um what's being debited here the equipment account would be debited and uh, yzh limited account will be credited i may give you the reason well equipment is an asset when we buy an asset the asset account is debited no matter where it comes from if it's paid for through bank or cash we credit bank or cash but we debit the equipment in this case it comes from yzh limited who is now our payable who's now our liability we're liable to pay yzh limited all right so 1900 there 19 and when by the way when liabilities go up they are credited what about the narrative the narrative is purchased equipment from YZH Limited on credit. Okay. If you want, you can put the amount as well. Purchase equipment, $1,900 from YZH Limited on credit. These narratives just simply explain what's going on. Why are they needed? Because uh, the journal is used for, a lot of times it's used for unusual transactions, right? Well, this one is not that unusual, but it doesn't go into any other books of prime entries. The point is you need to clarify what's going on, right? That's the idea of a narrative. Uh, you must clarify that uh, this, is, this is what's going on. Uh, anyway, let's uh, keep moving. The new hair, hair dryers will use less electricity than this, these old ones. There will be an additional insurance charge for the new hair dryers. The old hair dryers had been fully depreciated, so netbook was nil. Fine. Uh, it says, complete the table by placing a tick to show whether these changes is in expense increase or decrease the profit. Well, heat and light will increase, obviously. If heating and light, light lighting is uh, uh, increasing, just a second, please. Well, look, the fr the thing is, they use less electricity. It says so. Our heat and light expense, which is at the electricity expense, will decrease, isn't it? Electricity expense will decrease, which will obviously make the profit increase increase in profit uh, depreciation uh, well there will be depreciation that's for sure because previously there was no depreciation previously our old hair dryers had no depreciation left because they, they they were not being depreciated anymore they were fully depreciated but this new equipment will now be depreciated obviously the nineteen hundred dollars and so our expense the depreciation expense will go up and so the profit will go down and so that's a decrease in profit insurance uh, as it says above there'll be additional insurance so that means expenses will go up and in i mean the profit will go down so that's decrease in profit fine let's move on the next question is about uh, a few journals to journal entries to make and of course it is uh, it has to do with correction of errors Let's quickly get through this now. Uh, Jules has discovered the following five errors in his accounting records for the year ended 30th April 2022. There are five of them, and I'm uh, pretty sure they won't be asking for any, um, what do you call that, narratives. They won't be asking for any narratives. Why? Because uh, usually narrative, when they ask for it, it's just one or two questions. It's unusual that they will ask you narrative for something like this. They may, I'm not saying that's not a possibility, but... It's unusual. Uh, number one. Error number one. You have to put it there. 
Error number one, the total of general expenses is $28 in the petty cash book. So they're recording the petty cash book, it's already there, but they're not posted to the general ledger. By that we mean, you remember, the expenses in the petty cash book are transferred to their relevant respective accounts in the general ledger. So in this case, they didn't do it. Think about it. How is it treated? General expenses, they're credited in the cash uh, petty cash book could be cash book as well but anyway right now we're dealing with petty cash book general expenses are credited into petty cash book and so they must be debited into general expenses so this is what we were supposed to do general expenses account now look we were supposed to debit general expense account and credit petty cash book the thing is we only ignored the debit part the general expense account was ignored while petty cash book was recorded so there is no credit entry to make and so the credit part will put suspense. You get it, because the credit entry was correctly made in the petty cash book. Hope that makes sense. If you guys go if I go up and uh, copy the, the number 28. 28. 28, okay. Done. Uh, error number two. Do we have enough space to <clears throat> so that we can leave one line? We put error number three there. Error number four, and then error number five. I think yeah, we, they, they've given us enough lines to leave one line uh, after each, uh, just to better organize it. You know, uh, number two, a direct debit to Isaac, a, a credit supplier, one ninety five, had been recorded as one fifty nine in the account of four Isaac. Now, uh, it it must mean that the bank account was clearly written. We're paying a supplier bank credit supplier account debit in this case it says bank is correctly written it's just for the account for isaac it was only debited by 159 you get it so uh, we'll do 195 minus 159 scrap my calculator 195 minus 159 it's 36 so we essentially ignored the 36 we didn't debit the 36 in ISAC account. We, we, we were supposed to debit the ISAC account by 36, but we didn't. So what we do is we debit ISAC by uh, by that amount, 36. On the other hand, we do not have anything to credit, do we? None. Because bank was correctly written. It was only a mistake on one side of ISAC account. So what we credit? Suspense. Okay, number three, a payment by credit transfer for wages 144 had been had not been recorded in the accounting records. So there's no record of that. If you look at number two, there was one-sided record. In number one as well, one-sided record. But in the third one, it's complete omission. There's no record for wages. So wages will be debited, and it's a credit transfer. That means bank. So wages. bank the amount is one double four fine let's go up and move on the discount received total for january 2022 38 had been debited to discount received again basics of accounting discount received account was not was never supposed to be debited it was supposed to be credited discount received was supposed to be credited now since we have debited we will have to credit 38 to cancel the mistake and then credit 38 to put the correct entry isn't it that's an explanation for for this of course you don't have to write that in the exam but just saying and so in total we will credit so we'll credit in total What's 38 times 2? 76. 76. And the mistake is only made in the discount received account, so we fix the discount received account by crediting 76. Uh, discount received. Is that right? Yeah. And we debit suspense account. Because there's nothing else to debit. There's no double entry mistake. Of course, the amount is 76. 76 here. 
let's move on the last one the account for rent and the account for commission receivable had both been overcast by 200 so normally normally okay rent is debited okay and commission is credited am i right because it's you know an income commission receivable commission receivable is normally credited and rent is normally debited now they're saying we have overestimated both of them we sort of overcast both of them so we will essentially cancel each one of them so rent instead of debiting because it's not increasing it's decreasing in this case rent will be credited to show a decrease in rent and as well as uh you know the the, the commission receivable will also be will, will be debited right they both are decreasing right so you can say commission receivable both are going to be reduced by 200 remember when income reduces it's debited when expense reduces is credited okay this is it now one two three four five done last part of the question prepare the suspense account include the original difference on the trial balance as the balancing figure the question here is look you should know that suspense account is always started it always starts with a difference on trial balance the original difference on trial balance uh, which is the purpose of making the suspense account now in this case that particular amount is hidden and we know the rest we know the adjustments and you should also know that after adjusting all the mistakes your suspense account balances there is no balance bd and cd anymore at the end so what we do is we leave one line at the top because we don't know the difference on trial balance will be here on the left or the right so what we do is we put the rest of the entries we know here suspense account was credited on error number one and the date of course we just put the last date 30th april 2022 fine so that's your error error number one we put general expenses general expenses twenty eight of course you would add the other side right so general expenses will be debited suspense account will be credited fine as you can see suspense account is credited details just tell you where the double entry is going to be made next uh isaac will also credit the suspense account oh we didn't leave a line we're supposed to leave a line guys we're supposed to leave a line for the unknown opening right we don't know how much will that be so we'll just leave a line fine uh, Isaac was 36 so 36 there next what else happened to suspense there was just one more the fourth error which has to do with discount received Seventy-six. Hopefully, if you're good so far, now the balancing figure over here will be our suspense account opening balance, right? So we'll just try to balance this account now. What we do is uh, we add up the debit and credit side. Look at which one's bigger. This one is 76, and this one is uh, 28 plus 36, 64. Obviously, that debit side is bigger. On the credit side, we'll put the difference of how much? 76 minus 64, $12. And that's the difference on trial balance. Hopefully, that makes sense. call that write it nicely not diff right difference on trial balance but you have to write it fully okay i'm just writing it because my 
um, I'm typing, right? So in an exam, write it fully. Difference on trial balance, not TB. You do this, you may lose mark. You're risking losing a mark by doing this. So just be careful. Don't say diff on TB. Difference on trial balance, okay? We left this line empty. It doesn't matter. It's okay. Because we didn't know where, where the difference would, would be. Uh, anyway, that's a 20 mark question done. 20% of your paper.